Hello everybody, 53 plays again, and welcome to part 3 this time of The Emperor's New Groove on the PlayStation. We're now here at the Jungle Knight, chapter 1. Uh, before we go in here, I want to show off this one cool thing. Um, whenever you complete a chapter in an area, um, and if you um, go back to it on the villa, uh, level select screen, you get this little um, choice to view gallery. So if you press the action button, you get to view some kind of uh, development art for the game. Um, and so there's our first little uh, um, image there. So let's go ahead and check out chapter two. Um, so yeah, there's pretty much an image um, for every area. Also, that looks like um, the uh, uh, model sheet for uh, that ponytail girl. Okay, so chapter three. There's concept art for Kronk there. Kind of cool that he has um, a red and yellow uh, outfit instead of uh, some blue in there. And then let's check out chapter four. And let's see what this is. Uh, looks like some concept art of the village. Looks just kind of like the uh, um, scenery uh, for the uh, chapter one loading screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into Jungle Knight Chapter 1, and this will actually be three chapters instead of four chapters. So let's go ahead and venture into the jungle. And again, I'm going to be cutting the uh, clips from the movie because, you know, just to avoid copyright um, trouble. You can see them in other uh, videos of this game on YouTube. So there's our uh, loading screen for Chapter 1. And, um... I'd say it does start to get a little bit tougher in the jungle. We're going to keep this uh, preview screen on. Um, we're going to be meeting our uh, little uh, squirrel nemesis. It was right there. And uh, there are some new enemies like spiders. Um, and um, there's Cusco right here. And there's a doorway back to the village, which we will never return to. Also, we got some cool music right here. This cool kind of... Uh, smooth jazz music along this kind of Latin feel. Also, we can talk to this fly right here and <laughs> listen to this fly's voice. He's like, help me, help me. All right. Anyways, he's stuck on this web and yeah, Cusco's disgusted. Who's there? I can't see. Let's get him back. Save yourself. Yeah. You lost my life, Bobby. To kill a spider, use your blow or charge to flip the spider onto its back and then jump attack its belly. Ah, okay. That was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. I bet seen. you've seen freakier things, Cusco, like <laughs> a mutilated servant or something. Um, so yeah, we're going to be encountering these spiders in this level, so um, let's go ahead and get this pot first. Get that. And be careful where they uh, come in, uh, because they will lower um, themselves from the air, for some strange reason, the air. Like, uh, we can even look up in first person and see that it's... I don't know. Um, never mind, let's go ahead and... Uh, whatever. They just appear from the air, and it's kind of hard to expect um, where they land. Um, so that can be a little startling. So um, let's go ahead and roll onto the spider here. And if we just do a karate kick, we get a coin out of it. Pretty easy. Um, we've got a button right here. If we step onto it, it opens that door, but we need uh, to put something on it. So that's why we're going to go this Out way. My way. Out of my way. We got some more spiders over here. Ugh. Ow. See, they're a little tough. They're a little hard to expect. Spiders. Um, um, they do appear in other areas of the game, too. So we're not going to be seeing them only in this uh, level here. And sometimes those little um, uh, one, uh, one bar uh, health restoration things um, will appear in pods as well. Ugh. Okay, come on. Alright, let's go ahead and get that so we didn't get Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, just 
there's a coin up here, so let's go ahead and climb this. Alright, there we go. And there's a little pot here. It's actually more like a stone, like a rock instead of uh, a pot. Um, yeah, you, yeah, so in the game, Kuzco will carry pots, they will carry stones. Um, they'll just carry a lot of stuff in this game. So we can stick that on here, and then go through this door, and we meet our squirrel, our nemesis squirrel. Checkpoint. The squirrel, man, he's our best friend in the whole game, the whole universe. Also, he's gonna throw uh, pebbles at us, that sure. Alright, we got another little tree here with the X on it, you know what to do, we can just run through that. And uh, if we want to, we can also just jump charge uh, across. Jump charge. Go ahead and get that. We can't actually um, def like kill the squirrel um, yet. Well, actually, not really at all. Um, it's not possible. We can just get the head statue, and then we can get um, eight coins out of that. We have a lot of statues in this game, I will admit. There's a lot of statue-based missions in this game. Go through here. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Okay, we got this little mission right here go, 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 where go, go, the squirrel's go, go. gonna be carrying a balloon and we have to chase after it. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because way. we have this little um, uh, broken down uh, balloon uh, float thing. So we can, uh, can see that there is a hmm. waterfall here and there's no way we can get past here. So we have to put the balloons on this uh, uh, little floating thing. So all we can do is just run into the squirrel. You don't want to hit the trees though, because um, you can see they have some uh, sharpy, uh, sharp edges on them. So yeah, that's kind of weird. So we can go ahead and just run into this uh, platform there, jump back, and then magically another balloon spawns in its mouth. So go ahead and charge. Wow. A little bit close. Okay, so walk through here. And then we have one more balloon again. Which is a yellow one. Pretty yellow. So let's go this way. Yeah, the squirrel's a real pain in the butt to deal with. Um, so now that we have this, we can go ahead and jump on it and we can just magically fold across the waterfall very slowly slowly which actually is a little bit annoying all bit and we land checkpoint right there and we cannot go back we are all done also we got another fly here Hello, nice day. you do know that any minute now a big spider is going to come along and eat you Oh, that would be a luxury. Okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of weird. But it would be eating, being eaten by a spider would be a luxury. Man, this this fly has to be incredibly dumb. Anyways. What's the matter? Being caught in the web not good enough for you. So what are you gonna tell me then? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Guards with red helmets carry red idols. Defeat the guard to collect the red idol. No problem. I'll just hang around here then. Yeah, just wait for, wait for your, <laughs> your big demise, fella. Anyways, I did mention this before, that guards in this game will also carry red idols. So if we go ahead and defeat this guard, we get a gold, a gold coin and a red idol out of it. Also, there's a hole in there because um, the squirrel, as you as you saw, um, just Let's escaped through there. Seat. Let's see, is there anything else in here that I'm missing? What's our uh, coin tally? I think we might be missing some coins. You know what? Am I missing any coins? I don't remember. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go through here. All right. Well, that was the end of the level. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, and I didn't find the secret, oh darn. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, um, at the end of, uh, at the end of this, um, area, this whole, uh, chapter, um, 
area of the game, I'm going to um, go back and then replay these areas and then show you the things that um, I missed. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and save. And I was surprised I missed that secret. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to go into chapter two of the Jungle Knight. Um, this is actually going to be a really long chapter. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in this. Um, there's going to be lots of guards. There's going to be the squirrel again. Um, there's going to be um, spiders, stones, pretty much a big giant potpourri of uh, things. Even spiders that are dangling back and forth. Also, big fish. A big purple chubby fish. And lots of platforming. Resulting in a wampy at the end. A giant waterfall spouting idol statue. A blocked doorway. An idol door with two idols. And, once again, the squirrel. So yeah, that secret in the previous level, I'll go back to it um, eventually and 100% um, that. Alright, so we got some grapes there. Um, let's go ahead and get this pot here. Okay, we got a spider here. Let's go ahead and kill it. Take that! Take that! Boom, baby! Also, I think we can see through. Let's have a look. Oh no, there's nothing over there. Never mind. Alright. Oh, you know what? Let's do one thing. Hold on, really quick. I want to do one thing. Let's get. Let's see, where should we stand? Right. Let's there. have a look see. Alright. Squirrel, take this. That's what you get, buddy. That is what you get for being such a nuisance to us. Let's have a look see. He's gonna go through there. So here's our red idol door here. Um, we're not gonna be going through here for quite a while. So we. No touchy. Whoa. No touchy. <laughs> Hiya. What can I say? I love Cusco. We have two uh, junctions here to go through um, to get um, these two red idols. First, let's go ahead and take the left pathway. So we have a guard here. Let's go ahead and Hiya. get this guy. Boom, baby. Okay, so the squirrel, as you can see, jumped all the way over there. Um, and there's the uh, statue with the waterfall there. So we're going to need to drain that water somehow. Let's go through here for one second. Got a spider here. Hiya. And let's step down here. Got nothing down here. So this piece that I'm collecting right here, um, these are all parts to this statue right here. We're going to be po posing, uh, we're, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> we're going to be uh, putting all of the uh, parts of the statue, like this is the shirt, and um, when you put it on here, it hmm. uh, rotates into place just like that. So let's go ahead and get the head. Like, these are all easy missions, like, like, super easy. Let's place the head on here. And then if you stick the headpiece on top, it rotates into place, and it's going to drain the water. Just like that. And so now we cannot go back here, but don't worry, there are no uh, coins down here or anything. So, let's see, is there a recovery piece anywhere? Okay, it's out here, probably. Okay, so... Oh, there's one over there. Okay, so we've got... This stone right here, we can use this to climb up here onto this uh, platform here. Also, goodbye, squirrel. We can use that. Ah, that's better than that. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just realized. So, the gold um, health uh, recovery things, the gold ones um, recover your health in full, but they don't return. The green ones, however, um, stay in place indefinitely. Um, so, that's good. We go through here, and we get this little kid again. This time he's on a scooter bike. Checkpoint. Well, that was weird. Um, yeah, he's driving this little uh, scooter now. Um, and as you saw by the little demonstration, 
Um, every time he breaks through one rock, it's not going to stop him. So we have to quickly go ahead and put two stone blocks on his path and let him crash. You've destroyed my bike again! Just you wait until next time. I must be a bad llama. <laughs> well, that's not the final time Ooh, we're going to yeah. be meeting him. Unfortunately, we're going to be meeting him a lot more times than that. Yes, sirree, Bob. So let's uh, go ahead and let's get this uh, stone block. Head back out. We've gotten one idol so far, so let's go ahead and let's head on out of here. And I'll stick the idol in. All right, so now we have uh, the air other area to go through. And there's a little checkpoint sarcophagus mm. and a spider there. So we go through here. Boom, baby! And we get this uh, blocked doorway right there. First, let's go ahead and take care of... Oops, not this way. It's down this way. Out of my oh, way! Whoops. Let's go ahead and get this uh, checkpoint first. Checkpoint! Okay, so let's get the spider before we move on. Take that! Okay, cool. Alright, so let's. Okay, now this thing, um, I never really understood why, why this was here. I, didn't, I never really got this statue. Okay, got some coins. Lava I hear footsteps. Through. There's a guard nearby. Okay. Boom, baby. There we go. Okay, so now we have this little uh, uh, platform which is uh, moving back and forth. And we have another balloon hoist. So we have to fill it up again, just like last time. And we have to do that by assisting Let's this little chubby fish here. You can see there's a balloon right Let's over there. Um, and we have these grapes for a reason. We need to use these grapes um, to, to spit them at the fish. And whenever he's facing the direction um, that you want to um, send the balloon to, um, you fire your seeds at the fish. It makes him spit out um, some water. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and let this guy come this way. All right, in two hits means we get this balloon. And make sure you don't hit the uh, trees or any um, spiked edges, because that will uh, pop it. Okay, before we go over there, though, I do remember that there is a secret on this uh, area. It's right over here. Here it is. Okay, so this is going to be a big uh, platforming mission here. Okay. Bad jump. And this is going to be where we get our Wampy for this level. Alright, let's try this one more time. There we go. Got some groovy music as well. So this is like ridiculously easy platforming. Did I say easy? Well, probably not easy for me. Let's try this again. Oh, come on! Cusco, come on! There we go. Yeah, you can also use the uh, charge jump to um, go a bit further distance. Oh, also, um, I should admit, I actually have not yet seen the movie, the whole movie to the Emperor's New Groove yet, and I know I'm really behind the behind that, um, but I want to though. I just haven't been mo uh, been motivated enough to uh, do it yet. But I I really do need to see the movie. I haven't seen it yet though. But it's ironic because I actually I've beaten this game, yet I have not seen the, the actual whole film. Um, so yeah, just a little. Uh, Interesting uh, tidbit um, on my uh, familiarity with this game. 
Okay, so now that we've uh, gotten through that secret, um, let's go ahead and go back over here. Now, um, let's take a look down here for one quick second. Got some grapes here. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and hop on here. And if we go into first person, you can see that there's some pots over here and a stone. Can we shoot the pots? Oh, no, they're immune to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these pots. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to want to set that stone on this uh, button here. And before we do that, let's get this coin. All right, so setting the setting the stone on this pod, this button, sorry, is going to unlock that door, which was blocked um, originally, is going to unlock it from all the way back here. So now that that's out of the way, we uh, can just hop on this and out of my way. climb all the way back. Okay, so with, that, with the guard out of the way, this is a lot easier for us. Well, with the spider out of the way as well. Alright, so we can go on through to this newly unlocked area. Checkpoint. Checkpoints. Alright, so now the, now the grape seeds, um, we have to um, spit the seeds at the spider in order to um, stick it in the water. That way we can get a little uh, uh, platform of ice there. Woo we have some more um, uh, music, Ruby Jazz music. This one we can just kill with our roll and a karate kick. And then we have another uh, spider right here. Oops. If you touch the water, you do lose the health point, so way. don't uh, touch the icy cold water. Oh, that's a good, that's a unexpected uh, welcome. Okay, can I roll over you? There we go. Take that. Okay. Okay, so if we go this way, we get a checkpoint. Check also a guard. Ow! <laughs> wow. Ow! Oh, baby. Okay, so there's five. How many do we have? Seventy. We have to get seventy coins in this part. Okay. Okay, so there's no water here. I think we should be good. And there is our uh, second red idol over here. Booyah! Yeah, so as I said, this is a really long um, part of the uh, chapter here. It is kind of annoying, um, but, you know, Llama coming through. it's a challenge. Okay, so then we have a couple pots here. Get two points out of there. And then we have a spider down here, which we can simply roll over. Okay, jump up here. Out of my way! And jump it. Oh, by the through. way, you know what? There's something really cool in this game. Whenever you like do a bunch of jumps with Kuzco with the with the X button, <laughs> it's really funny. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jumping, 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 jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved that. Just jump nonstop. It goes, wee -hee. Oh, yeah. I'm jumping. Jumping. Jumpy jump. Okay, so enough of that. Also, this uh, door, which was closed Let's before, is now open. See. So now we have out our second red aisle, so we can go ahead and unlock this idol door. And we meet Mr. Squirrel yet again. Okay, let's get charged. I'm not missing anything. Okay. Ow. Okay, get that. We're almost done with this part. It's like, wait, am I missing? Oh, no, I'm not. All right, good. We 100% we, we of this uh, level in coins. Let's have um, a look. Good. All right. So now this is the very end. So um, if we um, step on this little thing right here, we get dropped down a pit, and that actually is the end of the level. So we 100% of this, all good, really good, and folks, wow, get ready. Is this next part? Yes, we come face to face with Jaguars, the mighty, dreadful Jaguars of the jungle, and I, I tell you, this part is so, 
so frustrating because this in this part we have to do like this we have to like run for our lives to avoid the jaguars and uh, wow and we have to 100% this level and it's not going to be easy because we get to do our favorite thing in the world butt mashing Whoa, time out this looks like a serious situation okay in order to save me, you're going to have to quickly tap those buttons while steering me around obstacles. Uh, yep, and so it's ju just as he explained, we have to button mash um, our uh, buttons. Uh, it can be either X, square, or circle, um, but we're just going to do X, um, just because it's usually the uh, a, a or X button. And we have to avoid all these jaguars um, while um, steering him around um, the things in the way. And there are also coins, 40 coins, and also a wampy as well. Um, so we're probably going to die a couple times, uh, just for the sake of 100%ing uh, this. Um, but we don't lose, I believe we don't lose any um, wampies or anything. I, I'm pretty sure we don't lose any wampies, but whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get through this. Didn't I play this kind of game in the 80s? Okay, let's go. Alright, so attempt number one, here we go. Yep, just press the buttons as fast as you can. And I missed some coins, so uh, I missed another one. Oh dear. I have five Wampies. What are we going to do? Eh, let's die. Yeah, so if you just slow down, they just kind of catch up to you and they just kind of attack you. Okay, we don't lose Wampies. That's good. We don't lose Wampies. That's really, really good for us. Alright, so jump over that. Jump over that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Alright. <laughs> that was like, that sound played right at the same time. Okay. Alright, here we go. So it's really fortunate that we don't have to uh, give up any Wampies uh, to finish this level here. So let's try to get that coin. Or coins, I don't remember. Yep, there we go. Alright, so the obstacles will get a little bit tougher. And oh, I'm slowing down. Oh no! Crap! I'm slowing down. Literally, this was like my worst nightmare when I was a kid. All right, come on, get the wampy! Wampy! Okay, come on, you can do it. Yes! Yes! Thank God! Oh, thank goodness. And you'll need to see this cutscene. Wow. Third time. I think that was the third time's the charm. Yeah. Third time's the charm indeed. Okay. So, yeah. That's that little uh, chapter there for you. Um, in a nutshell. Just avoid those jaguars and you end up um, escaping them. And eventually, Pacha catches up to you. And, uh... You know what happens from there? We get to be with Pacha for pretty much a large portion of the game now. Alrighty, so we are now at the river, chapter one, uh, but we're gonna stop right here. Um, that was quite an adventure going through that jungle. Look at that. You know what? Actually, for the for um, let's check out um, yeah. Nah, never mind. We'll do it in the next part. Okay, so in the next part, um, we will uh, venture into the river here and um, see what happens. So until then, this is 53 Plays saying have a good day, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye, everyone. It's my wampy!